Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night, getting ready to do this in energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. This is Terry Ann Hyman, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Just finished up an amazing Reiki 2 class. I feel like I'm way up in the cloud. So come on in. This will also help me to ground. Let's pull our energy in together. Hey, Adrian. Yes, she was in the class. What an awesome class. I feel like I'm really high up in the air. So time to ground our energy. Time to turn tune in to what's happening coming up this week. Pulling it all together. How's everybody doing? What an awesome class I had. Yes, a big shout out to everybody that was there today. Really good work. Really good purpose coming up for everybody. So honored to be able to teach it. So come on in. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. We're going to be focusing our energy, looking at what's going on. Going to be drawing a few cards. Maybe you had an opportunity to choose one, two, or three earlier today. And then we're going to be doing a little meditation that's going to help us really to focus the energy. We're really talking about trust this week, all right? The moon was new last week, and we were opening up to some new um, manifesting energy, manifesting energy. <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> and now it's like trust. Where does that trust factor come in? All right, Miss Trudy, going to be talking about you today. So yes, trusting is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about tomorrow with Trudy Mullins, my guest on the Empowered Spirit Show. Yay. So those are what we're going to be looking at this week. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're here. <laughs> Let me know that you are here. And I'm going to center my energy and calm down. Hashtag trust. Yes, give me a hashtag trust. You're out there. If you have thought about where trust fits into your life, I saw a big, huge headline today, Trudy, talking about trusting something in the political arena. I'm like, yeah, perfect timing for this. Yeah, so come on in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about where it fits into creativity and the spirit and for our life right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share this. I just kind of got kicked off, so I'm hoping that I'm back on. I'm gonna go ahead and share this. If you could too, do the same for me. Share this energy, share this broadcast with others around, helping people to focus their energy, helping them to come back into alignment with the week. I know I got a little off uh, kilter this week with everything going on. Not really off kilter, but just like so much productive energy. I was super excited for the week. I was super. So yeah, maybe you're feeling that too. So let's go ahead and share this. Moving it forward out to others, sending it forward, helping people find it. There we go helping people to be in the energy to start their week, right? Sometimes we can get a little crazy as we go through day by day by day, but coming in right now and really focusing this energy on a Sunday evening can be very powerful for how you choose to go about the week. All right, here we go. Got it. Yay. All right, so what did you notice this week? All right, were you able to use that new moon energy? Were you able to use it to kind of open up, to put some work out there? Or did you find that you're a little bit stuck, right? We had a lot of expansive energy coming forward last week. Did you notice how this affected maybe your meditations, maybe your spiritual practice? Were you able to sit a little longer this week? What did you notice? Are you aware of what it is going on right now with your energy or are you just feeling all scattered? Let me know what it is. Hashtag notice or hashtag scatter. What is it for you, right? When we start to sit longer and we start to go in deeper and deeper, that is where we really build the confidence of what we're doing. And that confidence is really kind of key when we talk about trust, right? We talk about the trust factor. What is that trust factor for you? Do you have the confidence to put your work out there, to stand in this new light of energy, to really bring in that expansive energy and open it up to where you're expanding the work that you're doing? Or do you get caught? Do you get stuck? Do you get held back? Does that other door, does that other fear energy come in for you? Which is it? Let me know what it is below. How is it that you approach putting your work out into the world? Especially at this time of year. We're, we're in the fall. We're talking about harvesting a lot of what we've done. So we've been able to really see what works and what doesn't. And then we put it out there, right? The fall is always good to stir it up. It's like we go back to school. We start new things. So did it catch you off guard? Are you able to really repurpose and re-put it out there in a bigger way? Which is it for you? 
right? It's like we've been talking about on the Empowered Spirit Show with creativity in the spirit. What fuels what for you? And can you stand on that edge? Can you stand on that edge for you to be able to open up to this energy? Lots of this energy going on right now. Lots of this expansive energy, this creative, productive. And that's actually what we're going to see going into this work week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, a lot of stuff is able to get done. All you got to do is focus, right? But a lot of productivity is happening. You may even feel the abundance. Maybe you've even noticed that some of your work has increased. Maybe you're booking more clients, seeing more people, or maybe it's just your workload, depending on what it is for you. But are you able to tap into this field of energy that is available to all of us right now? It's definitely expanding for us. So being able to tap in and trust, being able to get into that energy of expanding your creativity, putting it out there, opening up your relationships, definitely. Hey, Brett, I see you're on there. I have a friend down in Mobile. She was up here today for the Reiki 2. I told her to get in touch with you. She's a massage therapist. Tessa, I'm going to friend you with her, all right? So yes, I was thinking about you today, Brett. How we can expand our community and how we can open up to those of like-minded energy. Very important right now. So we don't feel isolated. That builds our confidence. That builds that support. That builds that trust factor that we're talking about. Definitely it does. So this week, as we start the week, lots of productivity. All you need to do is really focus in, all right? So we're going to do a little focusing in the meditation tonight. We're going to move forward. Put your work out there. Expand your energy. We have a really, really great week, especially as we move through most of the week. We're going to see it. Now, Thursday is a big energy day. Big energy day. I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live that day as well in the evening, so you can join me for that. But it's a big energy day. We have some aspects going on. We have Saturn, and we have Jupiter. I don't know. I'm not an astrologer, but I read a lot, and I study a little bit. Talking to Laurie Zielinski, Z Girl Astrology tonight about that. Same thing. Yes, we're having a lot of that energy. So Thursday, if you're not careful, you can get a little bit like aggressive out there, a little bit pushy, a little bit too big. So tone it down, but know that you have tons of energy to draw in, tons of energy to access for yourself. So let the universe help you. All right, that's coming up on Thursday the 26th. I talked about it last week as one of the luckiest, whoops, one of the luckiest days of the year. All right, depending on your aspects, but if you have any Scorpio in your sign, I'm in the rising Scorpio sign, right? If you have these aspects, check with your astrologer, Z girl. I'll just put in a little punch for her. You can always give her a call, let her do some charts for you. But you can find out where it's going to affect you. I know for me, I've had it marked in my calendar for a while. So when we use the energy around us, that also builds that trust factor. It also builds our confidence. It also brings us into that flow of energy. All right, can you guys tell I'm charged? Supercharged from tonight. Yay, supercharged from today. I mean, all day teaching. I love it. I love having this energy open up. Reiki 2, great class. So let's just take a minute. Let me calm down. Take a minute. Take a nice deep inhale. Super, super inspired from everybody today. Thank you again. Just super inspired to be doing this work and to helping people get their purpose out into the universe as well. Take a nice deep inhale. So inspired. I got my little um, candy corn Halloween lights. Yes, definitely. All right. So take a nice deep inhale. Let's begin to bring this focus in. All right. Pull it in. Days are getting shorter. Our soul is calling us to come in. The veils are lifting this next week with Halloween and all. All the more reason to be grounded to your own energy practice. That will really help you. You will be able to access higher guidance. Energy of those that have crossed over. Masters. When you tune in, especially these next couple of weeks. So yes, all the more reason. Dig deep. Go in. Tap into that part of who you are with your spirit. Very important. All right. So let's take a nice deep inhale. I laid out some cards from the Wild Unknown earlier, one, two, or three. So just go ahead and pick a number if you didn't have a chance to see them before. And we're kind of putting the energy of trust out there. Where is that trust factor? What does spirit want you to know about your own ability to trust? Are you trusting or are you not? All right, we have some threes there. I think I have it kind of all over the board. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So if you chose one, this is a very interesting card in the Wild Unknown. This is the Four of Cups. All right, so the Four of Cups, look at that rat on there, right? All right, there's something going on here because if people were to observe you from the outside, they think, wow, she's really got it together. She has all she needs. Look, you got Four Cups. Things are good. Things are balanced. But this card is actually about being dissatisfied, not trusting what is in your life already. 
So when you get this card, it reminds us about gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Trust, all right? Because what part of what this is is being in the fear that something better is going to come along. Like you got it, but you're always searching. You ever been in a relationship where that person's always looking somewhere else, right? Something better is always going to be happening. So you can't appreciate where you are. All right, so this is really important. Notice or discover what it is that you're dissatisfied about. All right, but be sure to honor and trust that everything is as it needs to be in your life and that you're able to take that to the next step, all right? So where is that dissatisfaction? What can you rat out in your own life so that you can be more in alignment with what is available to you? Very important there. All right, the next card is always an interesting card that comes up, and this is the death card. All right, nobody ever seems to like it, but really it's not about a physical death. But it's more about, in this particular case, asking about trust. It's more about trusting that something needs to come to closure, that it's time to let something go, that a change is coming. Trusting that really <sighs> transformation is definitely okay. All right. So where do you trust that? Are you afraid of this card? If you drew number two, does it make you a little fearful? Or can you really open up and step into that trust of understanding that time? it's time for you to make some changes? All right, this is exactly what this is about. Something needs closure. Some kind of metamorphosis needs to go on. It's time to let that go. All right, if you chose the third card, we've had this recently, the Two of Swords. All right, this energy is all about stalemate. This energy is all about getting caught in the mind. It's all about getting caught, which I would say is kind of not trusting at all. All right, this is about being in fear. You're in a stalemate. You can't make a decision. You can't go forward because what do we need to do when we need to make a decision? Trust, right? So this card is asking you to open up to that inner guidance so that you can trust that decisions coming forward are for your highest good. Really important here. Otherwise, you're going to stay in that limbo. Can't make a decision. Be in indecision. Just really that blah, blah, blah chatter back and forth and back and forth. All right. So trusting and taking a step forward, knowing that action is going to help you in this particular case. All right. So that's for the ones, twos, and threes. The ones is that dissatisfaction, opening up to really appreciating what you have in your life, all right, and trusting that all is in perfection, all right? Don't be in fear that something better is supposed to come around. The second card was the death card, which is all about transformation, trusting that transformation, not being in fear, all right, really understanding that you can open up and you can let something go. Something needs to come to closure. Hashtag helpful. All right, A. And then the third card for number three was the two of swords. And that's all about being in a stalemate. And that's really kind of not trusting the decisions that you need to come forward in your life. All right? Trusting that there is something for, to move you forward. There's so much infinite potential. Look all around that. Look at the fire around that black spot. So open up that energy and trust that you're going to find that decision for you. Or maybe you know that decision, you just don't want to act on it. I think that's more the case. That actually is what feels right for me. All right, so our universal card for all of us, I love this. This is a great card for this coming week, right? The Three of Cups. This is all about celebration. This is all about really getting to the support of people in your life. Not just any friends, but those that support you. One of the number one ways to build that trust factor is having the support around you, right? Yes, that's what this card is exactly about. Get with your friends. Celebrate so that you don't feel dissatisfied. All right, celebrate the good things in your life. That raises your vibration. Celebrate that there's transformation coming forward. Be with those that will support you. Be with those that will help you to let it go, whatever it is, whatever needs closure, right? We really want to get into this energy of transforming where we are all right celebrate a decision get out of the stalemate celebrate a decision i don't believe there's any wrong decisions course correct right course correct take some action so that you can trust your life is unfolding exactly as it needs to be there's infinite potential out there for you all right so move it forward so that's the energy for this week and how we look at where we are with trust. So depending on the card that you chose, maybe it can tell you a little bit more about your ability to trust your life, to trust your spirit, and to trust that creative force within you. And again, we're definitely talking about this tomorrow. Many of you guys know Trudy Mullins. She is from the Fearless Branding Crusade, or is she a, yes, Fearless Branding Crusade. She's going to be with us tomorrow talking all about her ability to really bridge intuition and creativity for her work, 
And she'll be talking about this little trust factor of very great, interesting conversation. So join us on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow, 12. It airs Central Time. All right, so let's bring our energy in and take a few moments. And I'd like to work on the energy of that third chakra, right? That that self-confidence, that trust. I would really like to work on that for all of us. So wherever you are, if you can, feel your feet on the floor. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, send that breath all the way down. Inhale, bring the breath all the way back up through the body, through the crown, up into the heavens as we connect with divine guidance. Exhale, bringing in that guidance, connecting with our deeper self. Exhale, send it down. Inhale, opening up, opening up to divine guidance, our masters, our teachers. We ask that they work with us and through us as we open up to this energy for the week. Coming in and dropping right into that third chakra, right into there. I want you to go right into that gut and just begin to notice how your gut feels. We were talking about this in class today. Notice where the energy of your own self-power is. Is it tight? Is it held? Is it congested? That's where we have our gut instincts, and that's what we want to open up to and build that trust factor, build that confidence. Know what it's feeling. Is this your energy or somebody else's or a lot of other people's else's? So just take a moment, feel around in the energy of the third chakra, and just exhale out, release it out. Drop a grounding cord, release it out. Whatever is not yours right now, any excess emotional energy. That gets in the way of our own confidence, right? Feel that energy coming in and releasing out all the excess energy. Strengthen and empower that center right there. Inhale, breathing out, imagining that third chakra opening. And as you exhale, bring that energy back into the third chakra. Let it clear out. Inhale, expanding it. And exhale, release the tensions we hold in that gut so that you can trust your own gut instincts. Inhale, expand it out of that third chakra and exhale, bring it back in. Let it breathe and open up. Feel that strength coming in for you right now, getting quiet. Feel the energy right in that third chakra. Just pulling it out, releasing the tension, releasing the flutters, feeling really calm. Inhaling, and exhaling. Focusing the energy for this week. Checking in with the, the center of your guts. Checking in with that third chakra. As you go through the week, come back here and check in. Feel that energy building. You can't quite see me here, but feel that energy. We all know where our third chakra is. Notice when you're tensing there. Noticing when you have reactions there. What is the reaction? Build that energy for you. Build that trust in knowing your own gut instinct. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. Send the breath away. Hold on to the energy of that third chakra this week as you move through and get your work done, opening up to all the possibilities that are around. Trust your intuition. Open it up. Let it help you soar. Let it help you be abundant and prosperous as you move through this week. All right, we got a lot of energy coming forward. I think I mentioned Thursday, I'm going to be Facebook Live, 7 p.m. We're going to be talking about the spiritual leadership lifestyle, how you can make money by serving people and helping them with their spirituality. All right, we can be spiritual and make money. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about what is a spiritual leader, and we're going to also talk about what does it mean when people say they're religious no, they're spiritual, but not religious. All right, we're going to be talking about that, all of which is feeding into my program that will be opening up in January. Registration is now actually open. Spiritual Leadership Training Program. You can find more about that on my website, spiritual-development-academy, or go to terryannhyman.com, either way. So join me for that webinar. If you want to get a reminder, just put a note in below, remind me, and I will definitely make sure you get a reminder Thursday evening. All right, very excited about that with all the energy coming forward. All right, if you'd like for me to draw a card, I have another minute or two. Just post below. I'll be happy to draw a card. Let's see what some of the comments are. Brett says thanks. Andrew says hashtag helpful. All right, torn between one and three. You got your answers. All right, if anybody else would like a card, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to sign out. What a great day. 
Really, I'm on cloud nine, teaching all of the energy. All right, Brett, you want a card? Here we go. Before we do, opening up. All right, so this is the hermit card. This is about you going in and trusting your own energy. This is exactly what this card, the season of this year is about, or the season right now. Being that hermit, see that light shining on its back? Really pulling in, going deeper inside yourself and illuminating that light. Be that light for other people too, all right? Really be out there. I love this card, the hermit. Pull your energy in. Really surround yourself with your own spiritual abilities, all right? All right, well, be a hermit, Brett, but be a hermit and study your spiritual energy, all right? Add that to it this week. Study your spiritual energy, all right? All right, Heidi, you would like one. Here we go. Ooh, the devil. All right, Heidi, when this card comes up, this is helping us to look at the addictions in our life. This is helping us to look at the attachments in our lives, all right? Which is it for you? Where is it that you've kind of been giving your power over? Look how he's standing on all that red energy there, all right? This reminds us to look at that. We all have addictions, all right? Where are they for you? And how is that holding you back, all right? That kind of feeds into that fear that we were talking about before. So where can you open up to understanding more about that energy so that you can release and let it go, all right? Attachment to an X. Let it go. Cut those cords, my friend. I can talk to you about that all day long. Cut those cords. Definitely, we don't need to carry that energy anymore. I'm hoping maybe you drew the number two card, which would go really well with that. All right? Let it go. Time for closure. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I know this time of year it gets hard to do, but that's what we need to do. All right? All right, take a nice deep inhale. Thank you guys for joining me. Post below, share this with others. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. Invite your friends, I would love it. And join me Thursday night. I'm really looking forward to the conversation, all right? Having the talk about spiritual leadership and why we need it right now. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale out. Sending energy. We learned that today. Han Chen Sei Shonen, all you guys. Have a great week. Remove the obstacles in your life. Empower it for a great day. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate being here with all of you right now. I'm an advocate for your spirit. Namaste to your spirit. Have a great week. <laughs>